What in the beehive is going on around here, my friends? What in the beehive? You know, more and more people are taking it upon themselves to take information that doesn't belong to you, that hasn't bared witness by you directly, hasn't been experienced by you directly, isn't even one degree of separation experienced and witnessed by you directly, but everyone's taking everyone else's information and they're carrying it around like it's their badge of honor and they're gonna be the hornet that's gonna go around and sting and impregnate everybody with all that poisonous information. And people that are doing it think they're doing someone else a favor. Guess what I know? You need to know this. Oh, let me comment about that. Let me disagree with that. Let me start an argument about that. When the bottom line is that information isn't even correct. And when it's, you don't even know where it was impregnated from. You don't know its original source. You don't know anything about it. But yet you're taking it upon yourself to talk about it and to repost it and to share it out there and to have more discussions. What did you hear? Do you know? I heard. I know. That makes sense to me. When you're just jibber jabbering about a whole lot of nothing and you're creating hives and hives and hives and these hives are swelling up and they're bursting with unnecessary harmful information that serves absolutely no purpose except for the uncontrollable flapper that's attached to someone's face and they just can't stop and I will notice in a lot of people in their like say they're th one of their threads it'll be the same hive the same group of hive people that I gotta debate everything and post everything out and oh let me give you this suggestion well I heard this and let me give you this and oh uh, uh, to the point where anyone with any sense within themselves eyes go crossed now yes there's a lot of AI yes there's a lot of bots yes there's a lot of stuff going on out there that's that's sent into the fields of of getting spread I get that but I'm talking about individuals that are taking it upon themselves. And if you're not honing in and skilling and really tr working on your, your inner ability, your innate concept of translation, which is your feelings, you're never going to know the difference and you're going to get swallowed up in the hives. And that's going to become a painful lesson to get out of that. He said, she said, I heard. That's, that's, I mean, come on. I'm watching adults act like kindergartners. I experienced it when I was working at CPAC. I, I've experienced it in businesses I've been working with. I'm experiencing somebody's got a tattle on somebody about something when they really don't even have the whole gist of it or any compassion about it. They just felt like, oh, I got to be the one. I got to be in the know because somehow what's in return for me is maybe a pat on the back because I know what I know. And anyone who has any wits about them, the more you know about what you know, you realize you know nothing. You know nothing. And so... You are doing what? You're producing harm. You're dousing people with harmful information because they can't unhear it or unthink about it. And so it, it's creating this constant swirl, this constant cyclone of recycled energy. And it, it, and it gains energy within the recycling of the cyclone wreaking more havoc and tearing people's brains up, tearing their heart up. It's like an injection of a cyclone of programming that it's really hard for somebody to unprogram. And what it does to your nervous system, my friend, is terrible. And yet, 
it's it's happening every day people are talking about the state of the union oh dear god people are talking about the upcoming elections like crazy people and it's already creating so much divide and separation i just sat for two 12-hour shifts with a 94 year old who does nothing but consume the news can she talk about it and dialogue about it at 94 absolutely has she lived a lot of some of these experiences that's led up to now absolutely but what is it doing to her it is creating fear the doors need to be locked got to stay away from this got to talk about that got to you know, yeah yeah woo, woo, yeah woo, woo. and so the whole day is is this mounting cyclone of stuff that leads to what physical mental spiritual and emotional exhaustion and it serves no purpose. It's harmful. It's ingesting chemical programming that is so harmful. So I'm going to ask everybody to go into this weekend, March 8th, and stay in your lane. Do not repeat what other people are saying. Do not feed into the threads of what other people are saying and make a counter comment even if you think you're helping people stay out of it maybe when someone sees that they don't have as much subscribers or comments on something maybe you're not feeding that ego that needs that pat on the back that's drawing people in that's giving them adrenaline by the way you're feeding them loose And you're depleting yourself while you do it maybe when they see that they have less on there maybe they'll realize oh I need to let that fizzle out or maybe you may realize that's an AI bot that was posting all of that and you're fighting with an AI bot yeah and once you go bang your head on the nearest dumpster that's gonna make a lot of sense too because that's where a lot of that information needs to go into a dumpster so my friends, what in the beehive is going on here? Be one less hornet going around and stinging and impregnating people with all this information that isn't yours to give. Don't feed in to what the political arena is doing because I'm telling you, I'm seeing a frenzy on so many of the threads that I literally had to shut my phone off and turn it the internet off and I had to shut my phone down and put it over on the other side of the room last night and even though it was on silent it was like just blowing up lights were going off and I could see where it was just it was entangling and pulling people in and sucking them into like this addictive poison and it was affecting me even though I was trying to avoid not even being in it so my friends, let us go into this weekend, as I said, and be one less bee in the beehive. Be one less bee contributing to this nonsense. Someone posted something out about flat earth. Oh, so-and-so said, if we have a flat earth, then therefore we would have too much sunlight. And I'm laughing and my guides are saying, yep, and all the shade trees would be complaining. Like, okay. Who cares if it's flat, round, triangle, rectangle? Who cares if it's just a blob with no shape? We're here on it. We gotta make the best of it while we're on it to be the best we can be with it and know that we're not gonna fall off the edge regardless. Because Mother Earth provides gravity that allows us to be in this atmosphere, to breathe this air. But we're always choosing to go way up in the clouds and, and find some other kind of way to suffocate ourselves. And then we want to bring it back and suffocate others by giving the, them these harmful chemicals of information called programming. So anyway, that's how I feel about it today. And I've had no caffeine. That's right. None. I haven't even had anything to eat. But I'm revved up because I got a lot of energy. 
spirit was like, what in the beehive? And I was like, oh, I like that. Yeah, all these little bees going out, going sting, sting. Yeah. Just injecting everybody with your two cents, which is like two billion cents because it just keeps adding up. And then we got this whole bank of old programming that we need to get, get away from. So again, let's be one less B in this hive, shall we? Learn how to align yourself. Learn how to tap in when you know you shouldn't be in it. How to maybe work with the self-regulating control dials through the session work that I do that combines advanced Reiki and zone technique therapy along with my intuitive coaching. That's right. I'm getting magnificent results and I'm so thrilled that people are stepping up and emailing me, which I will put in the description. All right. So this weekend, behave. Be one less. subscribe, share, leave me a comment. I'll see you all on the next video.